Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm. We are Eleanor of Aquitaine of France, and we have used Eleanor's powers very effectively so far. I really didn't think we were going to use it at all, but we got Wakasko Kasayan, although, ooh, 14 turns till rebellion. We're going to see what we can do about that. A granary will help. We get another population in one turn. That's going to help a lot. But we may need to put in a loyalty policy in a couple of turns. We'll see. We certainly don't want to lose that uh that civilization or that city uh what's not helping us is that we have minus five loyalty per turn in our cities however the population growth is nice for us and we will take it you know we are taking advantage of that um we also got mexico city last episode and that makes me very happy uh now the boost to it i looked it up after uh to remind myself and it was a nice boost i think it gave us like it expanded the range of like when you have i think an entertainment or industrial zone uh that gives like oh it affects things six cities away or six tiles away um i think it expands that range which was a very nice boost uh that would have just started uh, yielding a lot of nice results however i think we you know we we got the city the thing is like we didn't have the option of just saying like we had two options take the city or let it become a free city at which point it would convert to us anyway, unless we took it over and liberated it. Uh, and I don't think there's a way to just, like, liberate it once you own it. Uh, I don't think. Uh, so, it's got it's a really nice city. These city-states often are, and this one has a really nice uh, industrial zone as well. Wait, is that it? No. Its industrial zone is... Is that its industrial zone, or is that Gordian's? I know Mexico City has an industrial zone. Let's find out. No, it... Yeah, that's not its industrial... Oh, right here. So, yeah, actually, there aren't any, like, mines around it. I don't think it has a great adjacency bonus or anything like that. But, um... It has one. We're gonna take advantage of it. In Mexico City, it's got some nice farmland over here. That's nice. Yeah, anyway, we're happy to have it. Um, one thing before we hit next turn. We got a World's Fair going on. Uh, and I think we might actually do... Pre we are actually winning this just by the way we naturally play the game, which is awesome. Uh, we're not really doing anything for the aid request. There's, We're not going to be spending like 7,000 gold to win that. Um, and I guess Wilhelmina will get some Diplo points for that. Yeah, and she is winning that, I believe. No, she's not. Okay, so I don't really need to worry about that. If Canada was winning it, we would need to worry about it. Um one, I think one of the next things we want to do, we've been doing a pretty good job building wonders. We have Petra in nine turns. Is that the only wonder we're building right? No, we're building Broadway as well, uh, down here in Rouen. Uh, and I think those will go fine. The wonder that I want to, that I really want to focus on, and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get it, because it's a wonder that you need to research with the tech tree, and we have not been going down that route. And that is... Where is it? Yeah, steel. We want the Eiffel Tower. Having all of our tiles have plus two appeal is going to be really huge for us for a, a few reasons, most of which is building resorts. We want to build a lot of resorts, and having that appeal is going to increase our tourism. So we really want this. Um, but we, we have not been going down this branch of the tech tree. I know we're kind of, what did we say, to beeline to plastics, and that is good, and steel is on the way, but let's get steel for it's still five. We can't get it before anything else. So we really need to focus on this if we want to try to get this. It's possible other people may already been uh, be building it. Because other people may... Yeah, someone's already starting to build it. Now they've just started in... P, 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 uh, in Peepikissus. <laughs> and I'm, an, I'm, I'm not a mature person. And uh, we... I don't know if we can put a spy here to thwart that. I would love to. Because unfortunately, this is not a city that I think we would be able to get through, like, cultural means. Uh, hmm. All right, well, we're not going to do anything about it now. And it's going to be a long time. I think we we just might not be able to get the Eiffel Tower. It's going to be a long time before we're able, even able to try to build it. All right. Oh, Poundmaker is targeted by an aggressive enemy. We should fund their defense. No. Because um, I don't want anyone else getting Diplo power. We're not going to be able to win this by sending gold and aid. We already have an aid project going on. Um, so I, I say no. 
Uh, it might be an unpopular vote, but we'll see. It passed. Yeah, that's not surprising. I was the only one that voted no. I don't think voting yes on these things gives you Diplo points. I don't think. I think it's just the regular sessions of World Congress. All right, Paris built a hydroelectric dam. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I thought we had already started building uh, some of these buildings. We can build another spy, but I think... Great work slot. Uh, bonus production to a district project. Oh, builders can do that. That's... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. War department... Yeah, we don't care about that. Or great works. Four great work slots, which we may want. Um, the builders being the thing is we don't have we don't have a lot of builders right now. We don't have any wonders that give us extra builds for builders or anything like that. Otherwise, that would be a lot more appealing. If we had pyramids or I think there's another wonder that gives you additional builds for builders. I think. I think we are going to get, um, National History Museum. And I think I want to do that now instead of getting a spy here. Housing is going to be an issue here soon, too. There's a lot of things we could get here district-wise. Um, but I want the Democratic Legacy Policy card. I don't remember exactly what it does, but those cards can often be very powerful, the Legacy cards. We did just get a spy in Bordeaux, which is very nice. All right, we're going to send you to Peep Kipsis. Kisses? Peep Peep Kisses? Something like that. Peep 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 Peek Kiss. Peep Peek? Peep Peek? Isis. I'm kind of, that's it. Um, and see if we can thwart their production. Oh, we, that's not an option. Uh, unless it's in, uh, maybe that's not, no, that has to be part of uh, that city. It's right next to it. But we could foment unrest there, but I, I still don't think that's going to be the wisest thing. However, um, Halifax is starting to have some loyalty problems. They're going to rebel in 11 turns. Uh, and that means we're going to get that city. I don't know if sending a spy there is even necessary. They even have a governor there, and it's still happening. Um, we already have a governor in Wakasko Kasayan. But maybe I could reduce the loyalty in one of these other cities that would help us out. I was like, Pingala has two stars? No, it's this uh, cavalry that has two stars. Um... Citizen loyalty is not changing. Not changing. This one's going up. Interesting. I mean, with what Costco was saying, there's a chance that we could start to convert Hamilton. And if I could loyal the loyalty, lower the loyalty there. Loyalty is also... Yeah, Buenos Aires is probably going to become ours as well. And that would help with Costco was saying. Maybe we lowered the loyalty in Buenos Aires. Now... The, one issue with that is we are the suzerain. We were the suzerain of five city states. Now four, and we're going to become three. That does hurt us. Uh, becoming, you know, it hurts not only the suzerain bonuses, but we we are very successfully running the Raj policy, which has been very nice for us, giving us a lot of extra uh, points and all kinds of things. That said, um, yeah, and it's it is a nice suzerain bonus, but I think we're still going to want the city. So maybe we start putting envoys into other cities that are further away. Um, and in the meantime, I might try to hasten this with this spy. I think I'm going to do that. Um, Buenos Aires. Oh, I can only fabricate scandal there. I can't lower loyalty. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's cool that I can do that. All right, so then... With all that in mind, I could lower the loyalty of some of the Canadian cities. I don't know if that'll help us so much, but maybe. Yeah, why not? Go to go to Hamilton there. Yeah. All right. So, Bordeaux, what are we going to have you do now? Um, broadcast Center. There are no wonders you can do. Shari Kumis is going to be building a wonder after... Uh, no. Who is? Tushba? Someone's going to be building a wonder over here, right? Right here. Tushba. Yeah, after we get that commercial hub. Right. Um, we could do another spy. I think a broadcast center. Uh, Seaport stinks, right? Oh, Seaport's fine. Um, it gives us food and gold and housing. 
We need amenities here. We are actually really low on amenities. Are we doing anything about that? We already have an entertainment complex here, so not much I can do about that. Oh, flood we can finally build a flood barrier. Uh, yes, we want to do that as soon as possible in all of our cities. Great. Yeah, I need to start looking at that. Now that we can do that, we need to make sure that happens. All right, we got ancient walls here. I think instead of getting medieval walls or anything like that, um, we can do... Do we want a power plant here? This would be a good place to have an oil power plant once we have oil. Um, but we don't have oil yet. I think we're just going to go for the bank. That will be nice. Uh, all right, Wakasko Kasayan, you will build a flood barrier. It's nice that it's only four turns. Um, I thought it took, I thought these things took a lot longer to build. Initial build costs and turn per turn maintenance are variable based on the number of coastal lowlands in the city and the current sea level. If constructed after some of the city's tiles have been flooded, those tiles can be repaired in full. Submerged tiles are never recoverable. We don't want anything to be submerged. Do I need to in continually build flood barriers even if I build more tiles? I'm not sure, but I think I think we won it. Though the thing is, we also have loyalty problems. Not that I don't know if there's anything I can do about that right now. We already have a monument here. Okay, let's go for the flood barrier. Uh, and this builder, we need to decide where to put you. Uh, I think more production. Yeah, why don't we get chop that for or not chop it but put a lumber mill there first and then we can go for the crabs i think okay yeah we are going to kill this apostle excellent very excellent in fact um that helps zoroastrian all over the place zoroastrianism pescardi is still lowering they're probably becoming more catholic well no we have a religious alliance with canada so i'm not sure how that would happen but i think you are coming up to reims right that was the idea All right, that's nice. This builder with four builds. We had a builder coming down to get this uh, aluminum. This one, probably, right? Yeah. Let's have you go over there right now. It's still a few turns because it's all over mountains, but... Let's go do that. So you... Um... You say a lumber mill there. It's not... I, I'd rather do lumber mills uh, on rainforests that are next to uh, uh, campuses because it, we may want to uh, build over other rainforests at some point. I mean, it's a nice-ish tile, but yeah, it's not the best. I think... I think we go over here. Okay, go to the campus, and then we'll see. Okay. Um... Spy. You, I believe, we want to siphon funds, for sure. Yeah. That's so good. And they, and they have better chance of escaping. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. So, so this, we have this, um, we have two aid requests now, right? But is it only showing one? That's kind of weird. We're working towards a golden era. I think there's no way we're not going to do that because the next era is still like 27 turns away. What do we got going on? Wow. Uh, cultural heritage. So that's the civics we just got, right? It's there. We can see shipwrecks now. Sydney Opera House. Um, that is something we're going to want. And I think we're getting... That's something we... Anything that uh, you research through civics instead of... Uh, or through culture instead of science, we'll, we have an edge on being able to build first. All right. So um, I think we want to do public works. Uh, I think we're going to keep skyscrapers. We're going to... I think get rid of rationalism. I think. We do have some nice buildings. And populations are better now than they were. Maybe we get rid of five-year plan instead of rationalism. It's hard to tell which one gives us more, but I think as the game progresses, rationalism becomes better and five-year plan not as not as much. We can also do Heritage Tourism, which gives us 100% tourism from great works of art and artifacts, and that sounds great as well. Uh, oh, I noticed um, 
uh, after uh, we built the, um, what was it? The Crystal Redentor. I was watching back and uh, our, it, it boosted our tourism by like 90 per turn, which is amazing. Um, so if we do get, you know what? Raj is becoming less and less valuable. Uh, especially as we, yeah, I think I might replace the Raj with Heritage Tourism. This is going to hurt our scores a little bit here. But I think this is what we're going to do. Let's confirm. So 260 and 350. Okay, that was not that bad. It lowered 20 points on uh, because we got rid of a, a whole science policy plus the Raj. So that's a double hit on science. 20 points is not that bad. Oh, and we got the rocketry um, boost because of our spy. Thank you, spy. Fantastic. Uh, we discovered just two shipwrecks. All right, that's fine. Uh, which makes a, you know, we might want another um, artifact museum soon. Uh, yeah, so we can steal combined arms now. That's what we're going to do. And now what are we going to want, civic-wise? So cultural heritage is awesome. And I think we, we really wanted that for this civic. Um, although a tourism per city is not going, did not boost as high as I thought it would. Maybe it just hasn't caught up yet. I don't know. Maybe we need a way to turn. I don't remember what it was before we put in that civic. I should have looked. Um, let's see. Shopping mall. Yeah, that's nice. We may want some of those. We don't have three stock exchanges yet, but we could easily get some. Uh, but... We can get all three of these. None of the stuff back here blocks anything. It's just a matter if we want the civics. Yeah, we don't have any domestic trade routes. Uh, the Whistle Bank is much more powerful. Uh, generally, trade routes with alliances are more powerful. Ski resorts would be nice. We don't have four entertainment complexes. It's something we might have at some point. We're probably not going to research nuclear fission anytime soon. So let's just straight research Cold War. And that'll give us... Yeah, we can be, get an additional spy. Oh, and rock bands. And rock bands are going to be really huge for us. That's going to be a big part of our victory. Um, so, cultural victory is always a little weird to win, and it, it, it always kind of escapes me, like, what you need to do to get it. Basically, like, it's a matter of how much tourism... So this... I don't even know what this means, because tourism per turn is 371. And then this is domestic tourists. So we have 231 domestic tourists from our own civilization. Apparently, we have zero visitors from other countries, and I don't really know how to get that, but... Rock bands, I believe, help with that a whole lot. Um, oh, no. Th is this our visitors from the other ones? Like, our visitors from Poundmaker, our visitors from Mansa Musa? Is that how it works? Overall tourism boosted for trade routes, open borders. Minus 20 for different governments. I think maybe this is how much we're getting from each civ? I don't know. Well, let's see. That's 23. All right, so 19... Uh, 30 to 39. 39 out of 185. So it is. This is how much... W I never understood the screen. I thought this was like what the other civilizations were getting from other people. But this is Paris's... Or sorry, France's visitors from these civilizations all amounting to 39, which is definitely a lot better than everyone else. And we have a smaller wind condition for some reason than they all do. We only need to get 185. So boosting these, uh, rock bands, I think, will help immensely with that. Okay. Uh, and I'm not sure what the best other ways to improve that are. Uh, Bank or Broadcast Center. I still really like those Broadcast Centers. Uh, we can't build Sydney Opera House here. I could do a Spy. Pasagardi is a good place to build Wonders. Um, but because I think you have the Apadana. Uh, you could do another District. But no, let's work on... You know what? Maybe we do more Builders now. This is the time where we want more Builders... Because we just put that Civic in. We're going to want a whole lot. I think a lot of places we're going to want to build builders. Um, you just built medieval walls? Yeah. Get a builder. Five turns, no problem. It'll be, anything that takes less than six turns to build a builder will probably want that. Um, so let's say Gordian. Yeah, all these tiles are equivalent. Uh, let's start over here and do that one. Uh, yeah. Let's do Rames again. 
And now you are Zoroastrian again. Yeah, I guess Catholicism got you a little bit. I could go to come up here, maybe, and help out with that. Ooh. Um, yeah, this is still a huge victory. But next turn, if they cross the river, it won't be. Oh, I killed them. That was unexpected. Uh, the, the little, like, hint told me that I would just barely not kill them. But I guess I killed them. Excellent. Fantastic. And that helps Judaism here. It's better than a missionary. Um, fantastic. Okay. Uh, yeah. We've only done a couple of turns, but I, I think I've talked a lot this episode. Um, so I think that's going to be... Rames needs more amenities, really. Uh, no. You're okay. How are we doing on the loyalty over here? Okay, 40 turns is not so bad. Um, and this builder... Yeah, because we have more population here. And population grows in three more turns. Thank you. 20% boost. Um, we have a bunch of food here. I think mostly thanks to a trade route coming out of here. Uh, going to Canada, which we did last game. Uh, we can build some builders. If we build builders anywhere, you're getting Flood Barry in one turn, you'll probably get a builder after this. But we may want to just buy one here as well. 550 gold. That's going to become more and more expensive. Um, but we have the gold now. I think I'm fine with it. This is the time we want to do it, and this is the place with Liang that we want to do it in. And we're going to start just building seaports in as many places as we can. It does stink about the Eiffel Tower. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. This doesn't look like the nicest city. It might take them a really long time to build it, but I still don't think we're going to be able to. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.